Welcome to module six of our management accounting class. This module is all about cost behavior. And this is a bit of a weird module. So if you think about our last three modules, uh, first on job order costing, then process costing, then activity-based costing, they're all about how do we figure out the cost of our product and how do we uh, apply overhead, right? Material and labor were given, and they're all different ways of thinking about putting overhead into our product cost and, and just product costing in general. Well, that's not what this chapter is all about. This chapter is like a transition chapter. N uh, next chapter, we're going to talk about, okay, now we know our cost data. How do we use it to make interesting decisions for our company? This chapter kind of bridges the gap. It says, look, we have these costs. Some of our company's costs will be variable. Some of our company's costs will be fixed. Some will be mixed. Some will look really funny if we were to chart them on a graph. How do we deal with these varying cost behaviors? So we're going to look at breaking costs into their variable and fixed components. Now, while I'm talking to you here, before we get into the problems, there's two really important concepts I want to talk to you about and there's two assumptions that we make and they're related to these two terms linearity and relevant range and what they work together here we assume in management accounting that costs are linear through the relevant range. Now, what on earth does that mean? Well, as we'll learn when we do problem six, one, uh, costs can take all sorts of shapes and sizes. Of course, we can have costs that are variable. We can have costs that are fixed. We can even have costs that are mixed. So again, variable means, look, if I make zero, I pay zero. I make one, I pay one. I make two, I pay two. I make three, I pay three. Fix means I make zero. I still got to pay for whatever it is, $10,000 rent, right? If I make zero products, I pay $10,000 rent. If I make a million products, I pay $10,000 rent. My rent doesn't change because I've uh, produced more. Mixed means, well, there's some portion of the cost that's variable, and there's some portion of this cost that's fixed. Um, there's also cost that will take a shape like this as we'll see almost like a staircase there's costs that will be shaped more like this like big staircases we can have curvy costs we can have all sorts of behavior within our costs but for our course we assume costs are linear through the relevant range even though like some of these are not linear at all uh linear just means like a straight line and so well, how do we assume that? Well, uh, a couple of ways. First, there are some costs that are just purely linear, like these first three that I drew were linear. But what about this staircase one? Well, what we'd say for the staircase one is, look, if I just drew a straight line through the middle of that, am I very far off at any point? And the answer is no, we're close, right? We're pretty darn close throughout. Now, it doesn't work quite so well for this fixed cost because we could be pretty far off if we drew it through this, you know, these longer stretches. Uh, however, what we can say here is let's assume, you know, this is 50 units, 100 units, 150, 200, you know, there's another line up there. Uh, and let's assume for the last 10 years, we've made between 120 and 140. So in the past 10 years, we made between 120 and 140. We've fallen within there. Well, what we would say is, look at this. Where we're actually operating, this is a fixed cost. Through, and, and this is what we mean by relevant range. Relevant range is where do we usually work, right? Oh, what a mess. Uh, relevant range. Where do we usually operate? Can we assume it's a linear through the relevant range? And even these curved costs, if our relevant range is here to here, we can say, well, look, yeah, it's not a linear cost overall. Maybe this is like um, cost of producing cars for Ford. You know, your first few cars, it costs you a lot because you have to build a factory and it costs a lot more. You have a learning curve where the cost per car goes down and then it goes back up because you got to build a new factory to, to make that many. But maybe Ford's always operating in this area. Well, if it is, 
you know, we could assume that it's a linear in that area. So uh, linearity is important, and, and you'll see why in the next module. But what this module is all about is taking these weird costs and saying, okay, well, we know it's not purely linear, but let's try to fit a line onto this data anyway. And so problem 6.2 and 6.3 has us looking at various ways we can fit lines onto data that might not be so linear in nature. Now, I say this is like a glue chapter because the next chapter we use this. And I think the next chapter is perhaps the most interesting of the whole course, eh, debatably the most interesting. It's one of my favorites. But you have to be able to break costs into their variable and fixed components. You have to figure out how the line, how the cost works in a linear way to be able to do the material next chapter, to be able to fully understand and appreciate what's happening next chapter. So this chapter is a bit of a glue chapter where we figure out what costs are variable, what costs are fixed. Uh, next chapter, we will use that information to do very powerful things. So I hope you hang in there for this chapter and next chapter will be your reward. Okay, see you next time.